So good morning from Brooklyn, New York. I'm here at Flatbush Avenue and Avenue T in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, this is actually close to King's Plaza, which is the uh, largest indoor shopping center in Brooklyn, New York over there. So, but we're gonna explore Avenue T because I have never walked down Avenue T. So, Flatbush Avenue, planes flying above. It's a sunshiny day. It's about 50, 50 something degrees, 55 or something like that. You can hear the planes. All right, let's explore. We're gonna walk down Avenue T towards Bensonhurst, that is like that. B46. I just made a lift onto Avenue T from Flatbush Avenue. It is my first time walking on Avenue T. You see? So that's why we're exploring this. Because I haven't, this is my first time walking on Avenue T. The last time we did walk on Avenue U, and we walked all the way to the MTA Metro Station at, at, at East 15th Street or 15th Street. So but this is a very pretty neighborhood. Nice homes it's a i would say a jewish neighborhood clean streets it's a nice spring day for a nice spring walk beautiful it's cherry blossoms over there in that neighborhood there Avenue T and Hendrickson. It's my first time walking down Avenue T. Let's go. Beautiful tree. Avenue U is down there and Marine Park is also down there. My one of my favorite parks. Beautiful homes in this area. And that one was up for sale and now it's sold. You see, you can get one. You're not on camera, so you don't worry. I respect people's privacy. But the only thing is, if you're out here, it's a public place. So you can't be upset, because the street is public. This is public. Anywho, welcome to the live stream. If you have just joined me, I'm walking, exploring, touring. Avenue U, excuse me, Avenue T in Brooklyn, New York. It's my hometown, it's where I live, not too far from here. And this is my first time walking on Avenue T. I usually walk on Avenue U because the bus and Marine Park is there. And look at the beautiful tree-lined streets we have here. Very gorgeous, very gorgeous homes. This is Brooklyn. So you get to see another side of Brooklyn. That's Marine Park is down there. We're gonna take a hike through that park one day. I'm gonna do a live. As long as I get signal, we'll do a live from there. For hiking, for people who actually can take the hike. Look at this gorgeous tree right here. Look at this gorgeous cherry blossom in this yard right here. Beautiful. I'm not sure what the second flag is, but um, yeah. Yeah. Very clean sidewalks. And then some of the old buildings over here on this side. You see? Avenue T. Oh, I don't know if you could see those birds up there, but you can't. Because they're, 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 I am so thrilled. This is the second time today I've seen a formation of bir birds flying. They actually, when I saw this morning, they were actually geese in my flying over my bedroom. And I looked out the window, I saw them. And my gosh, they were gorgeous. And so many. Okay, we are exploring, walking down Avenue T for the very first time for me. It just happens to rhyme. I'm walking down Avenue T for the first time for me in Brooklyn, New York. 
nice. I wanted to stay away from the waterfront because it's very windy again today. And I, I'm getting a little bit of wind. And I haven't purchased my um, microphone yet. It's on the budget, but maybe next month. I'll see. You know how it goes. Everything we do cost. That's a gorgeous color on a car. I just want you to see the beautiful neighborhood that, neighborhoods that we have here in Brooklyn. I mean, and besides Bensonhurst and Greenpoint and Park Slope. I, what, I have to look and see what they call this neighborhood. I'll put it in the description. But it's gorgeous. Look. It's a Sunday morning. What's today's date? I didn't even put it in the description, but I shall. I mean, on the... It's um, what's today? April, uh, I believe it's the 15th or the 14th. Maybe it's the 14th. April 14th, maybe? Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah, I think it's the 14th. Look at these gorgeous tulips here. This is a lovely garden. And my, this garden is already blooming. Look how gorgeous it is. I love gardening. I'm not doing any, but they got gorgeous tulips. White ones, uh, or maybe those are daffodils in the back, but they look like they were open tulips. Of course, a squirrel had to come and, uh, in, and join us. We always find nature on our walks. You understand me? Because nature loves me and I love them. Look at the gorgeous gardens here. Daffodils and tulips. Roses and um, hyacinths down there. and a, Some kind of bell. Look how pretty it is. Hashtag flower lovers. Walking in Brooklyn, New York. This is a gorgeous evergreen tree. Look at it. I'm a plant lover, people. You should know. I do. I love plants. And eventually, I'm going to get a spot where I can do some nice gardening. We are walking here in Brooklyn on Avenue T. We're at Ryder Street and Avenue T in Brooklyn. It's my first time exploring Avenue T. There are gorgeous homes here and beautiful blooms. It's a beautiful day. We pick a nice neighborhood. To walk in and explore I'm a girl I have to be very careful where I go and uh, you know so I pick places that's gonna be safe and wonderful for me to enjoy to bring to you and I did not want to go to Manhattan today we're gonna do a, I'm gonna do a live stream from Manhattan tomorrow so stay tuned I just wanted to just take one bus and that's it and we start the live stream so here we are exploring Avenue T in Brooklyn, New York, my side of the New York City that I live in. Let me just watch my step here. Gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm at Avenue T and East 38th Street. We're going to go all the way down to the um, 15th by the metro. See if we could do some train spotting before I sign off. Ah, we don't have the light here. Let's see if any vehicles are coming. Yep, but they're all the way down there. Marine Park down there, that's what you see. All the way down there at the end, that's Marine Park. One of my favorite parks. You must see, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look. More than Times Square. Residence. This is IRL in real life. Oh, that's St. Anthony. That was my mom's favorite saint. Huh. Good sign. Morning, mom. All right. Gorgeous. Gorgeous homes. Gorgeous view. Beautiful Brooklyn. Uh, yeah. My gosh, look at that house on the corner. You know, 
Look at this plant. It's beautiful. I don't know what that one's called, but so is this home. It's gorgeous. Beautiful architecture. It's, you know, the old brick homes. I know some people are bored with them, but I really like it. You could put different style bricks up. Look at those over there. Gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I don't know if you would call those German style or some European style or some. See, we've had many immigrants here in uh, New York. Before, before the ones are coming now, many, many. So, and they lived in different parts of the neighborhood and different, different. And so, you, that's why the architecture is so beautiful and so, and looks so different as you go from neighborhood to neighborhood. In my neighborhood, we don't have architecture like this. And of course, now they started to change the houses for apartments. However, so look down there. And there are no apartment buildings here. These are all, well, multi multi-family dwellings. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, there may be single family homes down there. And once again, that's Marine Park down there. The birds are out. It's a beautiful spring day. That's what I should put for my title. Uh, the early morning spring walk. Let's go Mets. That's one of the baseball teams, of course, here in New York. These guys are Mets fans, not a Yankees fans. It's all okay. I say, let's go Mets, let's go Yankees. Both, look at this. Look at the architecture here. This is gorgeous. Beautiful architecture. Oh my. Let's keep exploring Avenue T in Brooklyn. For me, it's a gorgeous walk. As I said, I'm a girl. I, I, I want to be safe when I'm walking. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Let's uh, turn around to see where we came from. I came from Flatbush Avenue and Avenue T. And I guess I'm going maybe kind of like west or something like that on Avenue T. Yeah. Let's go. Let's keep walking. Gorgeous, gorgeous homes. I, I like... I like the statue. You see the statue? Look at the statue. That's cute. That's really cute. And I believe that's an Italian flag. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, people. Whoever's looking. And I, by the way, I really appreciate every single person that stops by during the live stream as well as on the replay. It looks good to me, but let me know if it's... Well, I'll check it out on the replay. I'm using Prison Live and uh, we're going landscape so that YouTube puts it in the uh, shorts algorithm. Algorithm? Algorithm? Yeah. So I can, we, I'm working on views, getting the views so I can qualify for super tanks and super chats and stuff like that. So yeah. Gorgeous. It's a gorgeous spring day here in Brooklyn, New York as I'm strolling along enjoying Avenue T. And the beautiful homes here. I'll tell you what time it is when I get a chance to view my watch. Uh, yes. We don't have the light, so we will wait. We're Avenue T and uh, East 36th Street here in Brooklyn, New York. Just really enjoying the fabulous, fabulous architectural homes that are lying the streets here in Brooklyn. It's just gorgeous. It's clean. It's beautiful. Yeah. Let's go. We got the light. Beautiful trees. I love those evergreens over there. They're gorgeous. So evergreens there.
Good morning, beautiful. I'm saying that back to you. Hi, music. I could listen to your soothing voice all day. Ja bless and stay safe. Hey, you know what? I appreciate that a lot. And um, I will stay safe. I, that's why when I go live streaming being a girl and, you know, I call myself a girl. Of course, I'm, you know I'm going to be 70. So, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I'll enjoy. I hope you enjoy too. I picked this beautiful area of Brooklyn because it's beautiful. There are beautiful homes. As you notice, there are not very many apartments at all. And um, it's clean. Notice it's clean. I must say, my neighborhood is not that quite clean. <laughs> all right, let's go. Look, look at many of the cherry blossom trees have dropped their blossoms because, well, spring is here. The weather is really warming up. The sun has warmed the earth greatly. And it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at these homes over here. Okay, we're moving on, walking, exploring, enjoying Brooklyn, New York. Thank you guys for stopping in and saying hi. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever you like. Whatever you like. I'm in the right place at the right time. That's what I do know about me. Uh, let's see. Really? Hey there. I just high five to you then. Let's say 70 is the new 20, okay? That's what we are going to claim. All right, music? Yes, my birthday is in July. So, yes, you're a bit ahead of me. Look at these gorgeous tulips here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pink ones. I'm wearing a pink hat. I'll show you me at the end. But I'm wearing a pink hat. Maybe I stop at a spot I could take off my coat and we just have some fun before I, li I end the live stream. So if you're here and you hear this, you'll stay here until... <laughs> Look at those gorgeous homes over there. Gorgeous. And a park is ahead of us. I do believe that's part of Marine Park. And then I get to make a decision of how we go around it. So we shall see or through it. That, this park is not the marshland. The marshland is down there. See, you could see the marsh from here. You could actually look through there and see the... Um, well, you can't because you know how the, the camera makes it look really further. But I could actually see the pond from here for the marsh. Oh, and it's just lovely. Absolutely just lovely. People are gardening. Some more gorgeous tulips here gorgeous tulips and let's go into that look at this park because we will want to navigate um, okay so let me think about I think what we're gonna do here is slide on over to Avenue U well actually let's walk through the park first oh people are playing oh I think they're playing cricket and they're playing Oh, we could even sit in the park for a moment. Perhaps. Because I see doggies on the lawn. Huh, which means I have to watch for poop. So I'm not going to go on the lawn. Because I don't want to have to watch for poop. So now let's... Oh, you know what? Hmm. Alright, let's go across the street. And, uh, so Avenue T ends here. Where does it continue on the other side? I don't know. But that's Avenue U over there and the Marine Park uh, Marsh uh, Nature Center over there. All right. Huh. So this is also Marine Park. It's, it's the athletic field of the park. Yeah, buddy, but uh, actually, let's see. I think I'm going to walk straight across over there to that street over there. But that street, I still, that, that street still doesn't continue me on. Let's see. Ooh, look at all the people in the park. It's pretty cool. All right, now we're going to walk on Avenue U. So let's walk this way. And we're going to stay on the sidewalk so that I don't have to look for poop. Poop on the grass. So, all right. So we're exploring 
Brooklyn on Avenue T. We're here at the Marine Park Athletic Field and we're going to walk on, around it onto Avenue U. And then let's see how we get back on to, or just walk down Avenue U. Does it matter? No, yeah, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, so there's a doggy pooping on the on the lawn. That's why I don't want to walk on the lawn. I could see poop on the sidewalk better than the lawn. Not everybody pick up their dog. She is, but I've seen them not pick it up. So yeah, I'm not taking any chances. So I'm walking along uh, Marine Park Athletic Field. Hey, we're gonna stop by before we continue our walk. Although there's a stiff breeze blowing at me, I feel it. And let's look at the houses over here. All these people live right in front of the park. How cool is that? And they live close to the bus line. The bus runs on Avenue U. Let's look at these guys. These guys are playing cricket. Are you familiar with cricket? Where I come from in Belize, they play cricket. And they play uh, football. Well, they call it, we call it football in Belize, but it, Americans call it soccer. So Belize is a country uh, just south of Mexico, south of uh, Cancun and Tulum and Playa del Clemen. It used to be called British Honduras. It used to be, uh, you know, a crown colony. Well, the queen is still on the money because we're still part of the British Commonwealth. Commonwealth. You know what a commonwealth means? If you live with somebody, that's a common law. Common law, husband and wife, you are. So maybe you don't want to live with anybody <laughs> in a commonwealth or a country that has commonwealth law. So does Canada, you know. Canada is also part of the British Commonwealth. All right. <clears throat> I guess it's their Commonwealth. All right. Yeah. I'm just enjoying the walk. It's brilliant. It's gorgeous. And we're going to peek in at uh, the Marine Park Salt Marsh and then continue our walk down Avenue U because I came over to Avenue U because it, Avenue T teed off there at, uh, at the park. I think I still have this light. Let's see. I have 10 seconds to cross the, not eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero seconds. He's already, he's already moving. <laughs> he couldn't wait for me to get off the street. Let's walk over here. All right. So we're at East 33rd Street and Avenue U and we're going to peek in at Marine Park Salt Marsh. You should know this is one of my favorite parks here in Brooklyn. So is the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Uh, Prospect Park was one of my favorite parks, but what happened is a lot of, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. We won't go into that. So anyway, this one is closer to my house. So I, 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 we're gonna peek in, we're not gonna go in there. I don't know what kind of reception I'll, I'll get in there and I see a crowd already. We're going to stay walking the streets. <laughs> Actually, maybe I can take my coat off and stick it in my bag and I'll be good. Look at that crowd over there. Can you see them? Aha! Exploring Brooklyn, New York. I'm now on Avenue U. Passing by the Marine Park Salt. Marsh Nation Center right here. And then, oh, it's crowded. Look, I mean, it is crowded. It is crowded. I'm gonna go in here and I, I'm gonna take my coat off. I think I can walk without my coat. Oh, this, these people are gardening. See, look. All right. 
the people. We're at Marine Park Salt Marsh, peeking in, peeking in here for a moment as we then head down Avenue U. I'm gonna put the gimbal down. Ooh, those people are actually clearing. They're clearing out in there, look. They're doing gardening is what they're doing. See, they're getting the marsh ready for the summertime. So clearing the weeds out and the overgrown stuff and the dried stuff out. That's what they're doing there. And we're gonna step around to the front at the marsh. And uh Morning Lo-Fi Lover girl! You know where I'm at? At one of your favorite places too. My favorite park. Yes, it's our favorite. You know I had to stop in. I had to stop in. I don't know what you're doing if you want to meet me or something afterwards. Oh, anyway, we could do another one. Anyway, yeah, I do. Okay, well then, um, text me on the other phone and let me know where you want to meet up. I'm going to head down um, Avenue U. Avenue U. All right, so we're gonna peek over at the, hang on a split second, let me take my coat off, people. Because it's nice, I'm walking, and so, all right. Let me show you me taking my coat off, people. So here I am. I'll take my coat off so you can see. All right, so let me take my other phone out of here. And she can tell me, you can tell me where we could meet if you want to. All right, before, after a during, lo-fi lover. Um, okay, all right, so I'm taking my coat off. So now you guys can see me without my coat. I'm gonna walk down there because it's warming up. I am warm in my coat, so let's just get it in my bag. Just give me a moment to get it in my bag. I have water and um, I always carry a bag because I know that I may get warm and um, so you guys can see me. I am your host, FALO66 Train Travels. My name is Angela. You may call me Angela. Yeah. All right. Let's put this coat in here and we go strolling down Avenue U. I'm sticking it in. It fits. <laughs> it does fit. It does fit. All right. Okay, guys. All right. We're going to go. We're not going in there. Because we would go in there during the week when all this crowd is not there. So we're going to go walking down. Oh, besides, apparently there's going to be a party. All right. Now. All right. So... We're gonna head down this way, the opposite way. And the fact that I took my coat off means I better start walking. Look at this cherry tree in front of us here. Gorgeous. If you're still on, lo-fi lo lover, can you tell me how the transmission looks? If you're still on. Well, I've got to say one thing. It, everybody's, all, the people who are active are already out here. They're running, they're playing basketball, football, they're playing soccer, they're playing cricket. And so we're looking at the marsh. And you can hike on that other side. And I will tell you this. I did I did a video of us walking under walking under that uh, bridge way over there. I did. No, it's not Central Park, Hamed. This park is called Marine Park Salt Marsh. This is a marsh. This is a whole marsh. Let me show you something since you're asking. Hang on. 
Good morning, Hamid, and welcome to the live stream. Nice to see you here. Glad you could make it. We are in Brooklyn, New York. No, I am planning to do a live stream in Central Park, but it's not today. It's too crowded. Even here in Marine Park is crowded. We're going to walk, continue walking down towards the train station, spot some trains, and just enjoy the walk. Did you just get here, Hamid? You must have missed it. I just took my coat off. I'll show you me. You like to see me? Yeah, I'll show you me. Let me show you something so you can see. So this place is called, see, Salt Marsh Nature Center. It's the Marine Park Salt Marsh. I think they open at 10. I don't know what, well, I guess I have my watch. I can, there is a restroom here. I, I always like to be near a place that has a restroom as a woman. So here, Hamid, look, and everyone else, this is called the Salt, the Marsh. It's the Marine Park Salt Marsh. And that is the Salt Marsh Nature Trail. And then there are people working today in the marsh, getting it ready to plant stuff over there. And um, it looks like there's going to be a birthday party over there. So that, that's where we are. We're in Brooklyn at Marine Park Salt Marsh, not Central Park. And... Um, <laughs> I have a video where my niece and I hiked over there, way over there, under that bridge over there. That's um, the Belt Parkway over there. And we hiked, we hiked under that and came all the way around, walked up, came all the way around over to King's Plaza. A heck of a hike, probably about five miles or something. Anyway, we're not going to hang out here today. We're going to continue on down Avenue U. I just wanted you to see there's the men's restroom right there at the Salt Marsh. There are so many places to visit when you come to New York City. Besides Central Park, besides Times Square, besides um, Rockefeller Center, there's all of Brooklyn, there's Queens, there's so many places to visit. You don't have to only visit those places. And contact me. I have a, if you need to find an unusual place to visit while, visit, while you're in New York, I'll show you the unusual places. As I've already shown you already. All right. Who has joined me? Ahmed. Oh, sorry. I thought you were Ahmed. It's Ahmed. I got a, another Ahmed. Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed. Oh, just came in. Welcome, 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 Ahmed. Yes. I haven't done many many stops in Harlem, but yeah. So we're in Brooklyn. And I'm glad, glad you looked in because um, sometimes we don't go to the other, you know, other part, other neighborhoods, even as New Yorkers, you know, like I don't often come up to Harlem, but I can look at this crowd here blocking my blocking. Oh, they're doing some kind of planting. So uh, I got to find my way around them. I walk in the bush. Oh, here's the sidewalk right here. That helps. But look, so that's, see, they, they're, I don't know what the heck, I don't know what they're doing, but it looks like they're planting and they're getting ready, the, this area of the park ready. All right. I don't know what that's up there. Hmm. It looks suspicious like it's more of their stuff. We're going to walk across the street. We're going to walk across the street. It says Marine Park up there. All righty. Sorry, uh, Ahmed. I, I, I have another subscriber, and his name is Hamid. And he has the same red color, and I didn't notice the A's of the H. So welcome, and thank you so much for being here. Well, you could show... Well, let's see. I've been to Marcus Garvey Park in Harlem. I've been to Marcus Garvey Park in Harlem. I only did a short at the time, but maybe I go back and do a live stream from there. As long as I get good connection. Marine Park. And one more time. Marine Park. All right, guys, let's go across the street. There's some gorgeous tulips ahead of us here. Let's look at them before we walk on. I just love flowers and, and and that plant down there looks like a, a um, what you call the palm plant very nice park, athletic field. a bit of 
wind because it's so wide open. Let's continue on here. So it was a good thing. It's blowing my gimbal. See, they're all planting over there and things like that. Maybe I have too much uh, ground and we give you more roof. All right. Marine Park is the biggest park in Brooklyn. It's bigger than Prospect Park. So this park here, Marine Park, is the biggest park in Brooklyn. It's not as big as Central Park, of course. Yes, yeah, so they're absolutely working along the area there. Beautiful, I like to see how everything is shiny. The bridge is shiny over there. That bridge is the Gil Hodges Memorial Bridge. I'm kind of tying this area together for you. This is the athletic field. Let's see. If Marine Park. The athletic field side. You can picnic here too. And there's a baseball diamond way back there. They got cricket, football, baseball, whatever else. I'm sure you could play volleyball. I'm sure I've seen volleyball played here. So yeah, see they're playing baseball over there. Yeah. Pretty nice. All the people who are athletics or athletes. All the athletes are out. Not letting anything stop them from being fit. Nice, very nice. Marine Park over there. Marine Park over here. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's the biggest park in Brooklyn. This is the biggest park in Brooklyn. Marine Park is the biggest park in Brooklyn. Okay, now back over here to look at the the other side of Marine Park and that's Marine Park as well huge and it's a salt marsh hikeable hikeable absolutely hikeable I've hiked it well, Lisa and I have certainly hiked it yeah but I don't have you on camera don't look over here <laughs> All right, so we are walking on Avenue U. We're walking past the Salt Marsh area. Marine Park is just really big. And they've done a lot of renovations in it. There is a bus that you can take here. It's the B3. I think it takes you to Bensonhurst, the B3. Right, I have my phone counting my steps, people. Another look at the Salt Marsh area of Marine Park. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, Brooklyn is pretty cool. New York is pretty cool. We love New York. New Yorkers love New York. You might as well love where you live and be happy where you live. Then that way when you go visiting any place else, you'll be happy too. Yeah. Ahmed, it is beautiful. It really is, and it's a gorgeous day to be out. I just took off my coat, and like this lady, I have long sleeves and I have sweatpants on. Keep my legs warm. Did you catch the birds? I just love the birds. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no, no, you have Hi. to be on this Hi. side. Hi, <laughs> the birds. Nice. Yes, nice. Thank you. Good morning. You're oh, live you on too. YouTube. You too. All right, great. Bye. <laughs> See, and then there are people who want to come on camera. That's okay. So that's way for me. I just spin away if they don't want to be, you know, feel they don't want. I don't know if they do or don't. So, uh, but remember, if you're out here and you're in, you're in the public domain, you, if there's a camera, well, you don't want to be on it. Turn your face. Turn your back to the camera. More work going on over here at the uh, Marine Park. 
they're cleaning up the leaves and ah, let us keep walking and enjoying this beautiful day see I'm sure that you, a person could volunteer to to help them do this I'm sure Well, that bus is not in service. <laughs> Hello, lo-fi lover. I also have an apartment in Yonkers. Oh, I'll be coming up to Yonkers, uh, Ahmed. I'm definitely coming to Yonkers. It could be next week, it could be the week after. Oh, well, wait, let me see, because I'm going to Ashland on the, the end of the month for Ashland train day. We have this big wind that just started to blow. Uh, Lo-fi lover, did you want to? Did you want me to put the gimbal down and call you? Let, let me call you. Uh, let me just find a spot to put the gimbal down at. Right there. Hang on. You guys can look at the uh, over there look at the um i'll put you right here look at the ball field i have <laughs> i have my glasses in my head hang on a split second Thank you so much. Okay, cool. It will be easier. What? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I love Yonkers. I've been to Yonkers before. I only did shorts, but when I go to Yonkers, sorry guys, if I'm putting my bag back on my shoulder, it might be. Um, yeah. Well, you know, sir, you could have just waited instead of. All right, so guys, uh, yes. All right. Um, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, so, oh yeah, Ahmed. Uh, Yonker is definitely on the list of to do's again. I love it. It's so great because you can step right off the train. I have a little extra shake or bounce in my walk anywho anywho let's keep going let's get my steps in today guys I think where are we Garrison Avenue and Avenue U so I showed you uh, I showed you I showed you a short of the Gerritsen Inlet and I showed you a little walk hike that my niece and I did under that uh, Belt Parkway bridge by the Ger Gerritsen Inlet it's down there the Gerritsen Beach is down there we have a lot of exploring to do a lot we get across this 
intersection. This is Gerritsen Avenue. And actually, I have never walked down there. Huh. Not today, though. I want to go this way. I'm going to walk down there. So the temperature is going to get even warmer. There is a bit of breeze from Avenue U and Gerritsen Avenue as the beach tree bust up. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, he's so, he's so courteous and good looking too. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. There's a Walgreens over there. We're walking on Avenue U. So notice the difference between Avenue and Ave Avenue U and Avenue T for the ones who came on earlier while I was walking on Avenue T. Uh, it's mo it was more residential. Avenue U has all the commercial uh, places on it as well as residential. So yeah, we'll keep walking here. We're gonna go towards 15th Street. This is Bragg and uh, by the train over there. And I'm not taking the train home because the train would take me all the way around Brooklyn as opposed to the bus cutting me up across the side of Brooklyn. It would take me downtown, all the way downtown Brooklyn before I get back to my house. And uh, nice. I just wanted to show you down there where the park intersects that street down there. I haven't checked down that down there either, but um, you know, there's so many places to check. It's exploring. It's so great. There's so much to do and explore. As the weather gets better, that's what gets me out even better because it has been raining and it has been really windy and really cold. We've been going, where is spring? Where is spring? Spring has finally come. See how that gentleman is dressed? Because it really is. No, I can't do that because I'm too slim <laughs> to dress like that. I have to dress <laughs> the way I'm dressed. Long sleeve shirt and a long pants. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's keep on walking here in uh, on Avenue U in Brooklyn, New York. This is Coyle Street, and there's a dollar tree down there, and an end. Yeah, because the marsh is behind that, that's why. And look at this gorgeous tree-lined street right here. It's really gorgeous. See? Yeah. It's, it's really beautiful, and the sun is shining, and it's, yeah. So here's another bus stop, the B3 bus stop, heading towards Bensonhurst. Because that's where we're heading towards Bensonhurst. Beautiful. Listen to the birds. Look at these gorgeous tulips. Gorgeous, aren't they? Just gorgeous. I'm so glad I took off my coat. Oh my, I can hardly wait when we don't need a coat, just a light jacket. I can stick it in my backpack. It's just lovely. It's a lovely day here in Brooklyn. Thank you for joining me as I walk and browse. We went from Avenue T to Avenue U. We walked through the, we walk. We checked out the Marine Park salt marsh area we saw them working in the park to renew and refresh the park so that people can enjoy it all spring and summer yeah there's the barber shop the barber shop is not open yet And for people who are watching me from New York, 
I'm coming up on Nostrand Avenue. That would be Avenue U on Nostrand Avenue. I'm coming up on Nostrand Avenue. At the, at the, at the, like, the busy intersection up there. This is Batch Helder Street. I'm sure that is a particular um, ethnic group type of name, but I don't know which one. Brooklyn, New York. Look at that, look at that dog. Look at that dog. Look at the dog. And then look at this gorgeous, look at this gorgeous blossom. And I like the, the, the different color leaves in the garden. It's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's spot on the gardens. Take a look at all the gardens along the way here. So we don't have to be in people's faces. That's look. That's so lovely. Look at the tree and the coloration of the leaves. The foliage is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. There's a Chinese and a Mexican food over there, but they're closed. So I don't know if they're actually open. That's an interesting combination. Chinese and uh, Mexican tex -Bex. Chinese and tex -Bex. Mexican, Texas Mexican. Yeah. Something smells good. It just smells like fried plantains. <laughs> Ooh. Tom Toronto Dominion Bank over there, TD Bank. Oh, that IHOP is not ever opening. I've never seen it open. We do have the light, people, so let's cross before we don't have the light. B3 bus going by. Oh no, I lied. I was a bloody liar. The IHOP is full of people. There's people in the IHOP. I thought it was never gonna open. It's filled with people, people. People are going in the IHOP. People are delivering food from the IHOP. Yeah, the IHOP is open. It's all crowded. I'm not going in. I used to, they open at seven at that, seven to 10. I used to uh, go to IHOP when I lived in California. I've tried two IHOPs in Brooklyn and didn't like none of them, so I haven't gone back. And I'll leave it at that, all right? Yeah. So now this is Nostrand Avenue. So we're at Avenue U and Nostrand Avenue on the B3 line. Yeah. New Yorkers are familiar, pretty much. Even if you come from the Bronx, you've heard of Nostrand Avenue. So I would take this Nostrand Avenue bus down that way to go to um, Lou Fiddler Park. Lou Fiddler Park. So this would be the B44, and that's the bus I took to Lou Fiddler Park. See, it goes to Sheep's Head Bay. Northern Avenue and Avenue B44 goes to Sheep's Head Bay. That's right where Lou Fiddler Park and that little beach is. It's called Plum Beach, P-L-U-M-B, Plum Beach. Check out my Lou Fiddler Park and the hiking under the, uh, the inlet. You'll see Plum Beach. That's down on the end, that other end over there. All right. You see that spot over there? That spot is a, 
I've not eaten there, but I've seen a crowd over there, and I've seen the man clean the place down really well, the counters and everything, before he opens. Right there on the corner of Nordstrom and Avenue U, just in case you're on this side of town. All right, keep walking here. You know, it's not, it's, it's probably not even 10 o'clock yet. I'm sure, because the stores are not open yet. I have open at seven. They're, they're a diner, so they open at seven. Get an extra shake on my hands. And I'm pumping. All right. Kosher Palace over there. It's a huge, well, Jewish supermarket. Sell kosher foods. Yeah. A pizzeria right here. Oh, look at that. And Italian ices. Nice. I'm going to show you one of my favorite breakfast places. Absolutely love it. Um, I actually really like a lot of international food, so I'm I'm willing to try. Not necessarily meats though. Not really. I'm interested in trying fish fisheries. Oh uh, yeah. There's a luggage store right here. Can you see me? I want my pink hat. Buy 12 bagels, get three bagels free. Wow, that's a lot of bagels. So over there, the big red sign that says Safir Bakery, that, that's, that's, that's one of my favorite breakfast places besides the diner. I usually like diners. This is Mediterranean Cafe, love it. Absolutely gorgeous breakfast over there. And the baking, oh my, the baklava, the baklava, delicious. So yeah, that's one of my favorite places there yeah, for breakfast and, and they serve breakfast all day and they have pastries and sandwiches I have shown you the inside of there if I was over there I would show you it again but I'm not over there it looks kind of busy too that's great great little breakfast spot right there Safir bakery I like it I'm, I'm recommending it in case this is the one I've been to and they bake the stuff right there on premises and it's just really good See, yeah. Oh, and I don't know what this place serve, but they need a dishwasher. See, dishwasher needed. Kav, Kav, Kaz, Kaz, Kazi. I, I really can't say the name of the restaurant, so let me not stop trying. So yeah, one more look at my favorite. Mediterranean cafe over there. Really, I really like it. One more time. All right. Ooh, my bag is slipping off my shoulder. Let me get it. Halal meat in there. I don't know where this guy is going, but I don't have the light. He does. Let's hurry before the truck comes, since myself and that lady decide to walk against the light. Ah, some nice looking peppers there, and Israeli cucumber. That's what it says there. Israeli cucumber. Well, that's that's nice. That's, those are very nice, and some beautiful peppers. Yeah, very beautiful. Okay, tienes que agarrar. Now these say tomato tomatoes. 
I'm not familiar with these comato tomatoes. They have a, a different color. You see that? And then angel sweet tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, a galia melon. Now those melons absolutely look gorgeous. Mmm. I'm not carrying any home with me. Cortland apples, golden delicious, honey crisp, murkut mandarin. We bought some halos yesterday. Lemon two for a dollar. That's kind of high. I got a whole thing from BJ's yesterday. All right. Avenue in East 27th Street. As we keep walking along Avenue U, enjoying this gorgeous day. And thank you for stopping by for a moment, popping in and popping out. That's quite okay with me. Uh, I appreciate you, every single one of you who stops by. Please think about subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. That's a pork store right here for all the people who love pork. Look at the mural. It's a nice painting. Let's pan up so you can see. It says pork store, baby. I don't eat pork. Sorry, but they have the finest Italian sausage, hot and cold and catering. But I just love that mural. And look at the mural inside of the sh inside of the store. So we can peep in for a moment, right there, without getting anybody, you know, on camera if they don't want to be. Yeah, there we go. Here's a little 99 cent store with this and that's in it. Garden things. I like those things to put in the garden. Okay. We're at 26th and Avenue U. We're walking down there towards 15th East 26th Street on the east side of Brooklyn Avenue U. This is not our light <laughs> people. There's a huge produce market over there. 2000 Sharp Shopper Store. Really big. Here at Avenue U and uh, what did I say? East 27th. Something like that. And the neighborhood down the side is a neighborhood. Uh, not very many apartments buildings. Here's one right there, but not very many at all. <laughs> see, that's a huge big apartment building there, but as you see, this mostly mostly a residential neighborhood. The B3 bus going to Benson House. Just another neighborhood in Brooklyn. And it was really funny, all the neighborhoods kind of abut each other. You know that, right? You can literally walk from one right into the other. And you can literally walk from Brooklyn into Queens because there is no separation. Brooklyn, Queens, and Brooklyn, Queens are on the island of Long, of Long Island. <laughs> so Brooklyn and Queens and Long Island is on one big land island it's an island the land is an island <laughs> so that's why we have so much waterfront because we live on an island big as it is it's an island manhattan is a tiny island there's the flaming grill get away from the man's dog he just don't want to hold his dog. I don't want him sniffing my leg. <laughs> okay. A lot of little deli stores, corner stores here. Huge building. Chappelle We are walking Avenue U. Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, New York. East 24th Street. <laughs> They're going to learn how to drive that scooter before they run into each other. Or people. 
or pedestrians. <laughs> hey, Morgan, where you been? Hello. Hello, welcome. You're moderating for me, Lo-Fi Lover? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. It's good to see you. We are in Brooklyn. We are walking on Avenue U. We started off on Avenue T. And we're going down here by the uh, train station. But what, what, what caught my eye, just as I'm describing, is this pastry shop. I haven't tried here. They have a different type of pastry then. Ooh, lo-fi lover, look at those pies. They got little tiny pies too. Huh, see? See, it's different that the, uh, the Turkish bakery makes different types of pastries. This is more like classic American pastry, but it does look good. Wow. Barbershop is busy, the nail salon is busy. Ooh, everybody's getting up and getting pretty to come outside because it's going to be like 62 or 65 degrees, about I guess about sun, sun, just before sunset. So everybody's getting ready to come outside and hang out. We're already outside hanging out. Thank you, thank you, lo fi lover. Uh, let's see. Where do I make you that? I don't remember. Uh, I, 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 no, oh no, sorry. Whew, I almost messed up just now. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's. Ay, ay, ay. You gotta control your dog. I have nothing to do with you, dog. I really don't. I'm minding my business. Why don't you mind your business? It's your owner. I'm minding my business. Mind your business. Anyway, let's continue on with our walk here. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I know how to do it. Just hang on. When I get to a place I can put the gimbal down, I'm going to go in and I'll put, put you in as a moderator. I have to do it from the chat, I believe. Yeah. Woo! Now, okay, I have to comment on this, guys. That's painted. You know, it's one of those uh, doors that leads to the, down, to the basement downstairs so the store can put their merchandise in there. Somebody painted it. See, the other one next door is not painted. I just had to comment on that. Thanks for, thanks for uh, obliging me on that comment, okay? Appreciate it a lot. Yeah, but it's the only one that was painted on the street. So naturally, I got my, it caught my, my attention. People think I'm strange talking to my phone. But they probably just, I just tell them sometimes, I'm showing my family. No, and the ones who want to be honest. So yes, we're live streaming. Okay, we got the light. Let's go. Shepherd's Cup, coffee, food, books, and connections. And then look down the street. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. They also open at 7. They're closed on Sunday. Isn't today Sunday? Uh, is today Sunday or Saturday? It's Sunday. Because yesterday we went shop. They're not closed. They're, they're open. It says Sunday closed. But I see people in there, so they can't be closed. But it looks like an interesting cafe to check out. All right. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. 
Hey, they filled up the whole entire sidewalk, people. The whole entire sidewalk they filled up. No place for anybody else to pass. Always, yeah, it is all, truly. But it's not the dog, you know, it's the owners. They just, they feel that everybody, my, see like my grandson, he's allergic to dogs. So it's not everybody that can handle a dog, but they don't understand that. So I'm very, uh, here's, a little, here's a little breakfast spot right here. Breakfast, lunch, and diner, dinner. Huh. I haven't tried those other ones. The Turkish bakery has got my attention because I like the way they serve their breakfast. It's just, it's Mediterranean style, Turkish style, not American, and I like it. It's different. They serve a salad with breakfast. Americans don't serve a salad with breakfast. They serve French fries. Why? All right. <laughs> to get brighter today. Yes, it is. It's been really cloudy and kind of gloomy, gloomy looking. It is 62 Fahrenheit today. Thank you. It's 62 already. That's why I don't have a coat on, people. It's 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Lo-fi lover dropping the Celsius in there for me, please. Where's another cafe? It looks quite nice. Look at it. Beautiful things to buy. And people have... Oh. That's the name of the cafe. They got pastas, omelets, salads, drinks, desserts. Whatever you want. Come down and have something to munch on. It's a beautiful Sunday. We're at Avenue U and Ocean Avenue right now. I can see the subway from here. We're gonna walk up there, spot a few trains. Look at this place. Let's look in here at, the, at, at where they're cooking. Oh, see they have, look, they have, the, they have that up there, the shawarma right there. They can't stop me from looking in the window because I'm not in their store. <laughs> Besides, if I went in and they didn't want me in there, they could just chase me out. Miss, miss, you can't do that in here. That's what Uber said to me when I went inside Uber. Yeah, miss, miss, you can't do that in here. But you could do it at the Oculus. <laughs> All right, there's a mean wind blowing uh, up Ocean Avenue. And so this is Ocean Avenue, so that would be the ocean, going towards the ocean. And... Uh, Close enough to maybe Brighton Beach and uh, eventually Coney Island, it's down that way. Yeah, you know what? We should go to Coney Island later or something, or maybe not today. With a, it's windy. It's really windy. Let's press this button. We're waiting for a crawl or light. So the wind is pushing me back. But literally, literally, if you look down there, you can see Pony Island. Okay, not really. But, and then that's going, that's going towards downtown Brooklyn. We've been down there. The Brooklyn Bridge is downtown Brooklyn. So you can get a sense of the directions I'm talking about. All right, let's get, oh, it's really windy. Wow, I'm getting hungry. There's another grill over there I haven't tried since they grill. Don't know what to serve. And a lot of people like these. Uh, those boba tea and stuff. The bubble tea. I am not a fan of bubble tea, but I know a lot of people like bubble tea. There's a bubble tea place and they have sandwiches and locks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like tapioca. I don't like bubble tea with tapioca. It's just my personal preference. I hear some copyrighted music there. Let me figure out how. I don't let. Uh,
All right, I had to mute because I heard copyrighted music. So now we're clearing up the copyrighted music, and I know a lot of times you may not be able to hear it, but I don't know about that YouTube algorithm. Pick up that copyrighted music. So we don't want to get no stripes from YouTube. Foot long, foot long. Subway, Subway's busy too. Woo. Look at those pretty grapes right there. And those bananas look good too. And, and look at the Taiwan guava. They, those Taiwan guava grow in Belize because I've grown them myself there. Yeah. Big, big market in there. Big mark, vegetable market. Excuse me, sorry. Very nice. I said that. Asian market. That's definitely an Asian market here. So we have a lot of Asian markets here. I just love these. Those are beautiful, aren't they? Pitaya dragon fruit. The, the red ones. And they have mangoes too. Love mangoes. Mangoes grow in Belize as well. The, the strawberries look really good. Very nice, very nice. Huge big market, place to come and buy your, your produce. Great oranges, the avocados look great. The, ooh, there are buns right there. Mm. The papayas look good. It does, ooh, look, they're really beautiful. Awesome, the pineapples look good. Yeah, I love the produce. All right. Right, we don't have a light. There's a chase, a chase Manhattan, and then down the neighborhood. Yeah, let's see if the car is coming. We can jaywalk. Hmm. Now what's down there? That's piqued my interest down there, but let's go up here to the train. All right. I go up here to the train and look at the A bit way. This is Bensonhurst and got Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge is towards yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're at East 17th Street and Avenue U. Ooh. There's some Chinese food here. Ooh, look, you can get your Peking duck right here. See that? See? You can get your Peking duck right there. I don't eat duck at all, but you can get them right there. <laughs> the guy, the guy, look at me like, what are you doing? Mind your business. I'll tell you, mind your business. There's another huge, huge marketplace over there. Lots of fresh fruits and vegetables over there. So as you can see from this this part, this is the 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 uh commercial center of Avenue U and Avenue T is more of a you know neighborhood for just residential and you have to come on Avenue U to do your shopping okay. <laughs> news tree start but I want you to see the train stop specials two eggs with cheese on a roll $5.95 with bacon or ham and Ham, cheese, or sausage, $7.95. With coffee or water, for takeout only. That's, a, that's so you can get your sandwich and hop on the train. Here's the train in front of us. Let's go on the other side where we can see when the train comes in and come out. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. There's another Toronto Dominion Bank over there. Canadian Bank.
Very nice, Capital One. You know that, that thing? You see that down there? Down there is the, down that way is the, um, the sea is down that way. So here we are, Avenue U and East 16th Street, Sheep's Head Bay. See, Coney Island Avenue, Ocean Park, and Gravesend is straight up. We're in Sheep's Head Bay, people. I said Bensonhurst, I was wrong. It's been Sheep's Head Bay. I forget that we didn't cross the border to Bensonhurst yet. We're under the train station, and it is pretty ugly. Look, it needs to be painted. Avenue U Station, uh, the Q train. The Q train is not running today, people. Q train not running. I think they're still doing work on the Q train. So we're at B3. See, now I just told you, the B3 is going to Bensonhurst. So this is Sheepshead Bay and it will take you to Bensonhurst. There's a donut shop here, let's look in. Let's just look at all these donuts they have here. I wonder if they're any good or better than uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I remember, I remember liking these kind of donuts right here. Those right there, a long time ago. It's an old fashioned diner. <laughs> It's small, with, with counter space mostly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, let's see if we catch a train coming in over here. Let's just wait. Let's, we're waiting for the bus and waiting for the train. So yeah, this is where we can see the trains from right here, not the other side. And um, so we're going to stand here and I'm going to spot some trains. What happened? Under the train bridge is so dirty. It really is. <laughs> Morgan travels. And listen, guys, we're just going to hang out here and spot some trains before I end the live stream. And uh, so we're at Avenue U and uh, 16. That's 16th Street there. And 15th Street is the one that I'm standing next to. East 15th Street right there. And uh, Avenue U. And. Uh, yeah. We're gonna stand here because there was a bench across the street, but I see a man sitting on it. And he's not gonna get off of it. So we're looking, we're looking for some trains to come in, and they will, because that's I said the queue wasn't running. Some train is running. Or is the queue, you know what? I just realized something. Did I say the queue wasn't running? I so what's running here? Or maybe the queue is not running and people, they're taking a bus. Ha! That's a probability, people. All right. So I'm gonna go across the street to the bench so I can put this down so I can look to see if that queue trade is running. All right, let's go. Oh, I see who was sitting there. He was, but he's not there at the moment. All right, he's sitting there waiting to get called or something. I'm sure he's gonna come back. All right, 
So I'm going to spot you this way. Hopefully you can see the train station while I look up to see if that Q train is running. Well, where are we Avenue U? So guess what? It doesn't look like any trains are running to Avenue U today. They're only going as far as Kings Highway and then their bus is bringing people over here. So, I'm sad to say, people, the Q train is not running today. I just said it when we passed over underneath of it and I just looked it up. Hey, Lo-Fi Lover, you want to verify that for me? That it's not running? I just looked it up. It said that it's, uh, it's stopping at Kings Highway. And I remember last week when I was at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, there was a, um, thank, thank you. Um, yeah, I just looked it up and it says the Q train is not running. Last week from uh, the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, there were buses taking people between Kings Highway and whatever connection the Q train is not running. See, on the weekends, our, the trains here in New York, they do maintenance. And I could always see an MTA thing in front of there, and they were, it was blocked off at the Q train. So I'm not sure. I looked up. It says what? Hello, Joshua. Welcome. You came in towards the end here. It's okay. I was checking out to see that the... the I'm here at the Avenue U and um, East 15th Street. The Q train line right there you're looking at. And uh, it, it, Q service runs on a modified schedule because the downtown NQ and FR trains are sharing a track at 57th Avenue. Okay, so maybe pass it. Well, let's just sit here and see, see if we see a train passing by. Hey, jo Joshua, what do you think? about the uh, the Q train service. Joshua, if you're still here. Because I did, I, I s well, actually I could go back over there by the subway and look, but. Yeah, I see on, on the weekends, I am by Avenue U. Avenue U. The stop is Avenue U and East 15th Street. That's a good question, Lo-Fi Lover. Yeah, because you could see if the train is going to stop there or what. But there has to be a train going to Coney Island. Check that out, right? <laughs> You're funny, Joshua. I, I, it's, it's just you know one of the lines that I could use, but I usually use the three and the four. And uh, that, that's my line that take me from my house to wherever into Manhattan. But some train has to take people to Coney Island today. So, and that is the, that's the same track the, um, I don't know if the N and the R use that same track. But I believe the F train uses that same track right there. Because that going in that direction going in that direction is going to Coney Island here's the B3 going to Benson Horse and Harry Avenue and there's a traffic jam so we're just hanging out here in the corner of uh, Avenue U and East 15th Street trying to see if we can spot a train up there but figuring out if the trains are actually really running today because you know it's a day that the, uh, the MTA would do transit repairs and they have been working on the queue line the queue line wow look at look, look, look at it look at this you get to check out this traffic <laughs> the traffic jam 
Let me go back and park myself on the bench. It was pretty good. <laughs> All right, so I'm waiting because the last time when I was down here and I sent him to come down here and I did, and what happened? Um, as soon as I ended the live stream, the trains came by. That was uh, during the week, I think. But today's a Sunday. So, all right. We're wait. We're hanging out here because I want to see about spotting a train. <laughs> all righty. And um, because I'm, you know, minutes away from ending the live stream, but not yet. Not yet. We're hanging out, people watching, and train spotting. If the train is running, the Q train is running. So we'd be looking up at the Q train if it is running indeed. Oh, you need to sit down? Did you get a seat? Yeah, he got a seat. Aha! Uh -huh. It doesn't say, but it's very delayed, yep. Yeah, that's... It, it, yeah, some... That's just it. There's a lot of delays on the train. Oh, you know what? There's also a parade in Manhattan. That's why I didn't go to Manhattan today, people. But tomorrow, live stream from Manhattan. Because there is a... Um, it's another cultural parade, and I can't remember which culture it is. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so let, I'll tell you what. I'm going to walk to the subway, underneath the subway, and go check to see what kind of schedules they're on. Let's go. Let's go right under there. Right to the train station, and let's see how the train is running. Keep my eye on this traffic here. So it's a good thing I had gotten a seat across the street. Let's go and check the train station. Let's go check the train station. something right here okay so here it is trains will not run between Kings Highway and Stillwell Avenue all weekend please take free shuttle buses so guys we will see no trains today here because they're not stopping here they're taking the bus to Stillwell Avenue and Stillwell Avenue is Coney Island so I'm sorry to say there is no trains here today. We're not going to see no trains passing by. So let's stick our head in the, in the metro station so we can see what it looks like. Because I've not shown you the metro station before. It's not operable today. See? No trains. Ooh, look at the pigeons. Look at the pigeons. No trains. So we've we figured out what happened. So you can see the weekend schedule, no Q trains. All right, guys. And so um, this is my first time showing you the inside of the, met the, 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 the metro station. This is the Avenue Metro Station. No Q trains here today. All right, so I guess we'll have to catch that train spotting at another time. Let me go back over there on, on the uh, bench so I can uh, say a proper goodbye. And put up my gimbal and I'm hop on the bus and go home. It's been fabulous hanging out with you guys. It's been totally wild. I thought we were able to spot a train. Look how crowded that restaurant is in there. I mean, it's filled up. Look at it. It's all crowded. It's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Everybody's happy. Donuts. It's not Dunkin' Donuts, but it's donuts. All right. Okay. 
Alrighty. Come, let's let's walk against the light. And we go right there at the bench. And so I can probably end the live stream and pack up my stuff and uh, yeah, head home. All right, guys. So I will say. All right, let me read. Let me read text the messages and just say um yep no trains today you can go to coney i don't want to go to coney island i know what to do here this is my hometown joshua i don't want to go to coney island i'm not doing coney island uh dirty in there yes morgan travels many of the train stations are very dirty They don't let the bird in there. The bird just flies in through the open door. The birds even fly in Grand Central Station. You can't stop the birds. All right. So now, guys, um, it's time to say goodbye. I showed you myself before. And so I'm going to put this down for a moment. And I'm going to get in front of the camera. Bye guys, bye, 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 bye. You know I could turn it around, right? But I just wanted to do that. So it was really nice of everyone to stop by. And um, adios, moi, goodbye, so long. Let's see you next time. Thank you for joining me on the live stream. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, come back. Um, more live streams coming up. Morgan Travels. I hope to see you again. From Thailand. I love Thailand. I really do. I'm going to be coming to Thailand. You better believe it. Better believe it. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Where's the end button? Oh, wait. I just remember I'm in prison live, so I can say this. I can say goodbye. And I can say this. Thank you. But wait, let me say this first. Put that there. Like. And then thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. I was having fun. I was having fun. Bye, 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 bye. Let's end the live stream. End.